Hi there, uh, so let's take a quick look at the about page and uh, the page components and essentially how it's built. So first of all at the top area we have an image on the right, some text on the left. Scrolling down uh, we have uh, features and publications. So this could be links to uh, certain online magazines, print magazines, connect this to PDFs, whatever it may be. Uh, as you scroll down we have an area with uh, some testimonials and further down we have a call to action area. This can link to uh, any page you wish. Now in terms of the back end, if you head on over to pages, click on add new, you add in your page title, and then you go over to the templates area and you select the about us page template. Now for the about page, you've probably noticed within our demo we have only one version of this page. Unlike other websites, we may have two or three different variations of the about page. However, this doesn't mean that uh, the about page uh, cannot be different from what you guys see in the following demo. As you've probably already noticed and as we've mentioned in some of our other videos, uh, you do have the option to move blocks around, change their order, uh, you can remove certain blocks and add additional blocks of content to any given page. So that really gives you the uh, option and flexibility to customize and modify your website as required. Uh, so, in terms of the overall structure here, everything is pretty simple. If we take a look at the header placeholder, uh, this area is super uh, simple. There's only one option to enable a custom header layout. And uh, this is really designed for, the, for a, a certain purpose if you want to have um, a different type of layout, whether it's uh, because of your design preference, whether it's because of the uh, amount or the type of content you have within this page, you can choose a different type of header layout for this particular page. Okay, as we scroll down, uh, we have uh, image and links area. Uh, this area is also pretty simple. Uh, we have the option to adjust our uh, elements color. That's pretty much all of the text content within the following block. So by default, it's set to black. Uh, you can choose another color if that's required. Okay, and then we have our uh, text area, and our first field is our title, uh, which is this area here. And then we have additional options for adjusting our fonts. If you click here, you can choose a different type of font for this area specifically. Uh, next off, if we take a look into our subtitle, you can change that here, and then also once again, you can choose a different type of font for the subtitle, and then our title paragraph. Also uh, regarding the links area, as you can see here we have uh, three areas where you can add additional links. So you can do that easily by clicking on add text link and uh, simply select a link from your website or it can be an external link and then you add in the link text which is pretty much this link title. Okay, so all of that is added within this area and that's all super easy uh, to work with. Uh, next off we have uh, an area where you can upload the actual image which appears on the uh, right hand side. However, we also have the option to position that image on the left and move the text area to the right side. Okay, as we scroll down, uh, we have a section that's called Featured Links. Now, this area overall is pretty simple. You simply adjust the uh, text font and then you add in your links. And then you can also upload a small uh, decorative image. As you can see, we have this little flower on the left. And then you can add all of your links within this area over here. So once again, overall, very simple and easy to use. For the testimonials block, uh, this section uh, pretty much follows up with the exact same concept. You upload your image uh, by clicking here, choose an image from the media library, or upload an image from your computer. Uh, next off, you add in all of your uh, testimonial details. The title decorative uh, letter, as you can see, it is displayed um, just right over here. Uh, next off, you add your actual testimonial text, and then you can add uh, as many testimonials as required. And further down, once again, all of the options to adjust our fonts. In terms of the horizontal divider, there's really not much to this area. Uh, it's all pretty simple. Select the color, you adjust the 
um, the block height so by default it's set to 100 pixels so you can reduce this height if that is required uh, and that's pretty much it uh, once again adjust the colors and then upload a uh, little decorative icon which would appear right in the middle okay and then uh, scrolling further down we have our final text block which can be used uh, pretty much for anything you wish and this section is also pretty simple to work with okay and then finally our footer kicks in and this area is already been predefined and preset uh, within the flow theme section okay so um, this is it in terms of the default settings for the uh, about page however if you do scroll down to the very bottom if you click on add block you can add additional blocks of content to this page and uh, really spice things up a little bit uh, you can make this page more unique more interactive and once again you can choose to delete certain blocks or change out their order if that is required okay and the process is super simple uh, choose the block you want to add uh, select it and it will be added right above your footer and then you can simply drag it uh, to any position within uh, the page that you are customizing okay so um, yeah this is just a short overview of the about page I hope everything makes sense in this video and thanks for watching guys I'll see you around later